Ubisoft CEO def Oh god. Oh god, I saw this. Oh boy, okay, it's time. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, here we go. Oh fuck. They finally figured out a way to hoodwink people into buying a game that's more than $60. Because a AAA game is $60. Well, <laughs> why is this one $70? Well, because it's a quadruple A game. Fucking obviously. I mean, I think this guy's selling batteries at this point. What the fuck is this? So anyway, never touching this anal sewage of a game. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I was going to try it out. Ubisoft CEO defends Skull and Bones $70 price tag despite its live service leanings. Calls it quadruple A. That's four. So that means five A games are $80. Six A games are $90. So we're talking about seven A games pretty soon. We're going to be looking at a $100 game. And like how many would be... So if Grand Theft Auto 6 comes out and it's $150, how many A's is that? 12, that's, a, that's a 12 A game. Holy shit. Yeah, it's a 12 A game. That means, it's, that means it's literally four times better than Elden Ring. Obviously, right? And so I saw a post about this. Obviously, everybody thought it was fucking stupid. It goes without saying. Let me see if I can find it. Yep, there it is. Okay, now go away. You guys, you know what she said to me one time? I was like making her mad. And she said, don't make me go Laylee on you. I've never tried to make her mad again ever in my life. Let me get back over to this. Translation. The game is going to bomb and we're just trying to recoup as much of our losses as possible. Make a promise then. If you have to issue a hotfix or a patch within a week of official release, anyone who purchased it get a full refund and keeps the game. That's a real quadruple A game. I don't care about, like, am I the only person that doesn't care about day one fuck-ups in the game? I don't really care that much about that. I just want the game to be good. Like, yeah, sure, you've got, okay, there's like 50 million, there's like 50 million moving pieces of the game. Three of them are broken on release. Okay, fix them. That's fine. It's not that big of a deal. But it does depend on how bad it is. You're right. Cyberpunk was over the line, for example. Uh, but in general, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. But this is, again, guys, we are talking about a whole new set of expectations. This is a quadruple A game. This is, this is new territory. So, like, whenever you make the term up, then it's like, fuck. Anything goes. Shit better be crisp. Yeah, exactly. Just because uh, you had this developed multiple times, multiple people, doesn't make it a quadruple a game. That's just a desperate attempt to collect as much money as possible for the losses this will have. You can't call something quadruple a game just because you spent an ungodly amount of money rebooting it multiple times because you kept trying to make a shitty live service game that no one wants. I think that people do want live service games. I don't think anybody has a problem with live service games. I think people don't like bad games, and a lot of bad games nowadays are live service. That's what my fucking opinion is. I like live service games. I also like games that aren't live service. I don't have a strong preference one way or another, really. I just like good games, and I don't like bad games. <laughs> So it's crazy for me to see all these people that are getting mad about this because it's a live service game. It should be because it's bad. If it's bad, then it's bad. There it is. And so, yes, he's trying to convince people that it is, in fact, a quadruple A game. You will see that Skull and Bones is a fully fledged game. It is a very big game. And we feel that people will really see how vast and complete the game is. It's a really full, triple, dot, 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 quadruple A game that will deliver in the long run. Somebody needs to make AI Trump say that, and that way it'll sound a little bit more realistic. Oh my god. 
So, delayed on a number of occasions, rebooted in 2020, and it's going to be coming out for $70. And players will be able to play the game three days early, naturally, uh, if they pre-order the naturally $100 premium edition, which includes two extra missions. Again, what did I say about, bro, what did I say about the Yakuza thing? What did I fucking say about it? What did I fucking say? I fucking said, um, I'm just so sick of this. I'm so sick of this, bro. Like, are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Never touching this game? Oh, I, I, I'll play it. I've got no problem playing it. I, I'll... I, 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 I'll play the game if it's good. If it's good, I'll play it. That's it. Let's see Let's see some gameplay. How about we look at some gameplay, guys? We'll just look at a random person. I gotta say it, the Starfield unlocking system was better. And I think the Starfield unlocking system was actually quite good. It was one of the only good things about the game. This doesn't look awful. Okay. Okay. So this is the first quadruple A game in the whole world. This is the first one right here. Okay, so this is the combat. Sure. And then hit him again. Well, he's winning on the on the on the the war of attrition here. I think he's actually going to be able to kill it. I feel like this game is probably like maybe 20 degrees off of being okay. Like, I could see this being decent if you had, like, good ambience, good music, and you were doing it with a bunch of other people. And, like, the combat was a bit more interesting. But... Oh, cutscene. Okay. And so, wait, why did that happen? Okay. Uh, let's see... Shoot him. Fucking shoot him. Shoot him with the gun. Shoot him. What the fuck is that? Bro, that's like a raccoon on a diet. A lemur? That's basically a raccoon. Anything that's got a tail like that, that's those are all raccoon. These are all just different flavors of a raccoon. It's like strawberry ice cream, vanilla ice cream, chocolate ice cream. It's all it's all ice cream. And these are all just different types of raccoons. Okay, so basically there's a lot of sailing around in this game, which Wait. What? What? So every mini game is just a timing mini game. You know, I'm going to be honest. I really, I think the environment and the graphics look really nice. It's disappointing that some of these gameplay elements aren't better. I think this could actually have a decent future if they really tried to invest into it. If they treated it like a like a quadruple gay game, a quadruple A game, not quadruple gay game quadruple a game um i actually think this game could be pretty good but i'm just not seeing it i'm gonna be i'm just really not seeing it i would try this game out and play it myself sure i'd have no problem trying it out but you know i i just is this game worth 70 dollars I think that if you really like pirate games, maybe. But I, I, I'll have to play it myself and find out. No, it should be free. 
No, I mean, I, I think it's fine if you want to charge money for the game. Black Flag is $10. The game's only with pirating. And so, yeah, I mean, here's the thing, right? Again, it's all about a value proposition. If this game was really good, then nobody would be complaining about it being $70 in live service. The problem is not that it's $70. The problem is that the game doesn't have that value in the mind of the consumer. That is the real problem. The other stuff doesn't really matter that much. The price is, is whatever. People will get the money together if they feel like it's worth it. And I think this game could be very good. I don't know if it's there yet. Seems like it's kind of not. How can they just add an extra A? Do they think that we're that stupid? Yes, and unfortunately they're somewhat right. Maybe not us, but about many others out there. <laughs> Do they think that we're that stupid? Well... Well, as a matter of fact. Now that you mention it. Huh. I wasn't going to bring it up, but...